<laughs> the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> the speaker, the speaker. <laughs> when it comes to uh, social media, the speaker, I don't know why Senator Wetangula is so excited about my contribution, but first let me start by congratulating Senator Falhada, who has been, like Senator Jiriot said, uh, consistent when it comes to raising issues of uh, social media, issues of technology, and how it affects the youth and our children. This statement um, is very important. It is important statement because this chamber is a chamber of debate and it's a place of uh, uh, discussing matters of national importance. Many Kenyans are watching us and will be reading and uh, referring to the things we are saying here. And the, the most important thing we are doing as a speaker is to create awareness, uh, awareness among ourselves, our parents, our children, about the positive things that we can get from social media but also the negative things we can uh, face from the social media. The speaker, like Senator Cheriot said, I would be, uh, without beating my own uh, drums, um, Mr. Speaker, I'm the leading uh, legislator um, on social media uh, with a followership. Yeah, <laughs> with a followership, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> with a followership of, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, 1.7 million followers on Twitter and uh, nearly 400,000 on Facebook. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I wasn't able to grow any <laughs> followership on Instagram and the like uh, because it would require, uh, it needs someone like Sakaja who can rap, who can rap, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> for you to succeed on uh, Instagram and TikTok. Um, but Mr. Speaker, the point I make is that social media is very positive when it comes to enhancing engagement in terms of enhancing knowledge uh, keeping interactions. Some of my best friends that we met in school about 20 years ago, Mr. Speaker, were unable to meet. We were able to follow each other on, on Facebook, uh, communicate, find out how we are doing. And sometimes, Mr. Speaker, even when I used to teach, you are looking for a comparative uh, study in, in what you are teaching or what you are researching on. And Mr. Speaker, it becomes very easy to communicate to a friend who is in another country and ask them whether they have a journal article in the area you are researching on or whether they have a book that was published in their country in recent past that can be useful to your research and study. Mr. Speaker, that is the positives we get from social media. We are able to manage our, our affairs, our businesses, our farms, uh, Mr. Speaker, our, everything that we want to do. Even livestock now, nowadays, Mr. Speaker, are managed through technology and social media, WhatsApp, and so forth, makes things very, very good. But we must be alive to the fact that, Mr. Speaker, the negatives are also there. Just like face-to-face -face communication or face-to-face -face relationship among ourselves had its negative part, Mr. Speaker, social media has even accelerated the negatives that are there. The worst among them, Mr. Speaker, in fact, I dare say, Kenya and developing countries and least developed countries have less regulation on social media than the developed countries. Mr. Speaker, in many countries, it is a rule that you should not post the photos of children on social media. Mr. Speaker, but here we, we keep posting. I want, one, a friend of mine in UK once told me, Mr. Speaker, the reason why you, you will never see a picture of children being posted on social media is because criminals are targeting children and when they find the social media post you are putting you put you put a post that my child goes to this school we live in this estate Mr. speaker this is what we do the children become subject of attack and target by criminals Mr. speaker the speaker we might and i want to suggest the senator falada before the end of this uh, uh, term Mr. speaker because we only have one year to perhaps think about how best can we, the best practices that are used by other countries in the world to protect their children and their, and their citizens from harmful activities of social media, like pornography, Mr. Speaker, like things like cyberbullying, like, Mr. Speaker, uh, exposure of children. I know, I know, Mr. Speaker, of a friend where they discovered that their child was communicating in the normal way of just allowing children to use gadgets, they realized that their children was communicating with Mr. Speaker uh, uh, persons from other countries that are interested in the pedophiles, Mr. Speaker, that are interested in pornographic materials. So they are telling the child, can you take a picture this way? 
Can you take a picture this way? Can you take a video this way? Then they go and post on those social media uh, 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 pages, Mr. Speaker, where they earn a lot of money because they are running illicit, Mr. Speaker, businesses. I think it's important from the chambers of this house, apart from just raising awareness among our people, for us to look at ways and mechanism of tightening controls. I have read from the media that, Mr. Speaker, uh, the National Assembly, uh, if I read right, right, Mr. Speaker, is that Honorable Duale was publishing a bill on pornography. But we need to widen that bill, Mr. Speaker, to discuss matters of the dangers of social media. Mr. Speaker, it's also important for citizens to know that social media can also be a place you go to make money. And Mr. Speaker, like Senator Chiriota said, it's only that my page is useful for, Mr. Speaker, conversations that are for public good. I do not want to charge and advertise on behalf of this company or the other. But many citizens don't know that these social media influencers are paid to advertise. And sometimes the other area that needs, needs Mr. Speaker regulation is that they are also paid to bring down companies using Mr. Speaker things that we are trending this company, uh, false information about this company. And some companies have been brought down, including shares of companies have been brought down by Mr. Speaker, social media influencers, Mr. Speaker, who have absolutely uh, no regard and they are not regulated. We need to have a law that makes it possible for these people to be held into account for every information they post so that, Mr. Speaker, the negative side of social media is dealt with. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, we need to find mechanism of, of punishing companies for addictions, Mr. Speaker, that come with use of social media by children. And, Mr. Speaker, you know, I, somebody was saying here that we need to teach our children about addiction, about social media. Now, between the children and the parents, sometimes you don't know who is more addicted than the other. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, because you will find the parents are busy with social media accounts, Mr. Speaker. The children are busy with theirs. Everybody is addicted. The children are learning from their parents. There is no conversation that we can have in our families. Mr. Speaker, these are the kind of things that we must take deliberate step, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that we, we, we uh, uh, raise resources. I take the challenge that has come from Senator Cheriot to ensure that, Mr. Speaker, uh, as a hustler nation believer, that those young people who are hustling from down up, we also facilitate, Mr. Speaker, mechanism for them to make money so that even in this very difficult time, they can do, Mr. Speaker, uh, research papers that are used abroad, they can work for people who are not in this country, Mr. Speaker, because therein lies also great opportunities in the same social media. Mr. Speaker, I beg to support and encourage Senator Falada. I'm willing to sit with her uh, to share my ideas and for her to develop a very good uh, bill that can go a long way to improve, Mr. Speaker, the use of social media in this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I just gave it a little bit more time, so I'll, uh, I'll give uh, Wambua, Senator Wambua, say something, then we move on because